What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. This is Tactical Bartender. And today, as you can see what we got in front of you right here, uh, I am going to be getting all this. I've, I've been trying to do this for a while or I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I'm going to be getting all this mess organized today. So you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, if you haven't guessed, <laughs> we're going to be uh, getting our first aid, our trauma, all of our, all of our medical gear together and organized. Uh, that way, if something did happen, I don't have to go run around looking for stuff. I mean, I've got everything pretty much on a shelf, but this video is going to cover getting it organized, the stuff that I have, uh, you know, the stuff that I'm still wanting to get. Um, and I haven't even taken out the stuff out of these bags. Um, I'm going to empty all this stuff out and I'm, I'm, I'm going to build them from scratch. I think I'm going to make this one first aid. Um, we're going to make this one our trauma kit more life-threatening type of stuff and this has got some random boo-boo kit items guys so we're gonna empty all that stuff out you'll see it on the next uh and the next part coming up here in a second you'll see all that laid out and we're gonna we're gonna build these bags uh this will probably be our car kit trauma kit first aid and uh, these will be built as my bag kits which are which are filled up also so we're gonna empty all that stuff out and start it from scratch and then we're gonna get everything organized get it to its home uh you see we've got the medicines over here uh, i'm gonna load up the kits and get them all organized with uh tylenol ibuprofen modium gas x benadryl off brand i don't play them I, I don't play those games and then we're gonna get all the extra gauze and band-aids once every once everything's filled up we're gonna get it all nice and organized in this little bin right here so So you guys stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are excited as I am because I've been waiting to knock this out forever. So stay tuned, guys. What up, folks? Here we are back again. Uh, so I've got all the contents laid out on the table. First aid kits are empty, and the bags are ready to be uh, loaded up again. So here's what I've got out of it. This is the, the like I said, the empty contents and everything else that I've had uh, stacked up for trauma and first aid. So let's just kind of jump into it and show you what we got. So start with the band aids. Obviously, various medications back there. Some OTC medicines. Uh, I'll be putting in my packs. I usually put Gas X, Benadryl. Tylenol, ibuprofen, and Imodium AD. So, those are what I put in my packs. Yours may be different. That's up to you. Keep the Sam splint. That'll get you, uh, that'll get your, if you fracture a bone or whatever, break your arm, leg, foot, hand, elbow, whatever. That'll get it secured until you get to the hospital and then uh, let them address it. So, that was some, uh, some, uh, one of these right here, these compression bandages. Forgot the other ace bandages. Nasal pharyngeal right here, size 28. I keep this in my bag because it's pretty easy to use. It's not hard to learn how to use that thing. That's basically if a patient, um, if they can't cough or cough or swallow pretty much, then they're going to need that to secure that uh, airway open. So that means that they're probably unconscious. Here we got from Madison Supply the seven and a half inch trauma shears. I've read great reviews on this, so this is the one I decided to go with. Fine, so. Two Israeli bandages, one and four inch, one and six inch. Yes, they are out of the package, as you can see. Well, this one is. Uh, it's already in another plastic, so no big deal. Ace bandages right here. Or compression bandages, you know, some might call them. Those would be for your sprains and stuff like that. <coughs> um, chest seals right here. These are the hyphen vents. These are the compact vented ones. Uh, two pack. So gunshot wound, front and back. Got some stereo strips right here. Got some sutures here. Got some C-Lox hemostatic agent right here. Uh, different kind of tourniquet. This is a SWAT T. And we also had a cheap. Anyways, you guys stick around. We're gonna continue this video here in a second. You guys are obviously gonna be around for the ride. I'm gonna be cutting the video off and working on uh, getting these first aid kits packed up and uh, ready to go. So, but you guys will be there for a ride. So check it out. And one part I forgot to mention, <laughs> just real quick. So, yeah, went over that stuff good. Um, don't think I missed anything. 
But my plan is obviously to fill up these these packs down here. There's three of them. One's gonna be a car kit. One's going to be uh, so we got one car kit, one trauma kit, and then one first aid kit. And then obviously the um, these will be like EDC bags, just little little small first aid kits, but they'll cover a good portion of uh, little wounds and stuff like that. Boo boo kits basically. <clears throat> but all the extra gauze and band aids and uh, you know trip antibiotics and all that good stuff, all the excess stuff, you know triangular bandages, whatever. Is gonna go in what I'm gonna pretty much call the the home first aid kit. This is for home. Um, we've got three drawers, and that's where all the extra stuff will go. So, anyways, just want to throw that in there. That's part of the plan, also. So, just keeping you guys in the loop. Stay tuned, guys. All righty, welcome back, guys. So, I've got the trauma kit, the trauma kit built the way I think I want it. I try to stray away from putting uh, any first aid stuff in there because this pack will accommodate whatever first aid kit I have, whether it's, you know, my backpacks on the go, whatever, you know, this, this has all the basic, you know, first aid, burn cream, uh, trip antibiotics and stretch gauze, um, band-aid, stuff like that. Random two by two gauze. So I try not to put any first aid in here. I tried to make it just pure trauma, basically for, uh, excessive bleeding, hemorrhaging, broken bones, sprains, unconsciousness, stuff like that. So that's pretty much what I loaded this kit up with. And it's full, and I know it's still missing a lot of trauma stuff, so when I get those trauma things, the other things that I want, probably gonna have to find a new pack or something, more like a uh, kind of a duffel bag. But what I have so far, this is what, here, let's see if this will prop this up. What I have so far, this is how I have it loaded out, so. <clears throat> right here, if you flip this down, uh, I've got just some sutures in there and some stereo strips on the back and there's some tweezers in there also so um, Inside here right up top. We got the triangle bandage that can support a broken arm or whatever uh, inside we've got conforming gauze We got some compression gauze right where this is the uh, basically Israeli bandage I put the four inch in there the six inch one was a little bit too big. So uh, That'll probably just go in a, in, in a different pack like a different first aid pack um, the Madison Supply Shears, got my Mylar in there, Mylar blanket, support people that are in shock, and my hyphen vents in the back, my chest seals, so that's just on this side, and everything's pretty, not too hard to get to, if I had to get to it quickly, like, I, I do know where everything is, uh, so no big deal, so that's that side, um, then this side, I keep the... I keep an ace bandage on this side. Uh, you know, this this can support many things. So keep this on this side. Some medical tape here, some 3M medical tape. Uh, couldn't fit the copycat tourniquet in here, but honestly, I would I would rather go with the, with the SWAT T anyways over that, over the copycat one. So that's in there. Got my quick clot gauze in the back. Uh, nasal pharyngeal, nasal pharyngeal. Size so 28 with the lube and the uh, and some C locks homostatic agent. I think that should be it. Like I said, everything's fairly attainable, easy to get to, organized. I know where it's at. Um, so yeah, put that there. This table sits in a nice nook right there, and that's what I got so far for the trauma kit. Uh, if, if you guys. Have any suggestions of what's missing out of here like i said throw them in the comments that way i can start grabbing those things and uh get a bigger pack for this and then hopefully one day i'll have uh, i guess it's called a medical bag maybe but like a like a mini duffel bag looking bag and that'll be my new trauma bag but <clears throat> for now this uh or maybe i'll build another trauma bag and this will be like simply a small version of one that goes with me on the go you know what i mean i mean i can stop uh, hemorrhaging from in here i can support a broken bone or whatever or you know Help someone that's unconscious with what's in here. But let me know what I'm missing out of here. Put it in the comments. That way I can start building a better trauma kit. So anyways, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to show you guys my first aid kit. Right, real quick, because my ex-wife's actually here to pick this up. But this is her car kit that I built. I know it's kind of hard to see everything. But um, I threw in some scissors in there. Put a cold compress. Some steri strips. Uh, a variety of ga uh, gauzes, like gauze pads, like... 
iPad, a couple 2x2s, a couple 3x3s, put a bag of Band-Aids, various Band-Aids, put some alcohol pads, put some ID prep pads, some BZK antiseptic pads, a uh, little baggie of triple antibiotic ointment, burn cream, ammonia inhalant, that little tourniquet I was telling you about, threw that in there. Figure it's good for, you know, a car kit. Put some tape in there and put some conforming gauze. And last but not least, I'm going to throw some, um, a couple gas eggs, a couple Benadryls, these scissors. And she's got a pretty decent little first aid car kit right there. So uh, I think that's about all I can fit in there. Uh, I can amp it up with some ibuprofen and some acetaminophen, but I should probably put this in there for her because she doesn't really, at least I know a little bit about, you know, the basics. She might, she might actually need this, but just want to show you her car kit that I built real quick. Let me go give this to her and I will show you guys my on the go first aid kit next. All right. So we got our first aid kit right here. This is our on the go first aid kit pretty much. Um, I just dropped off the the car first aid kit to my ex-wife. So this is what I got built up. Like I said, we built, today we built a trauma kit in here, which you guys had already seen. And then we have a first aid kit. That, I mean, I, I don't know exactly. I guess this is a, a home first aid kit. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how uh, these are going to work. Because this is kind of big. So it's not something I want to carry around everywhere. You know, that's kind of what I carry these for. These just kind of got the basics. And usually in my pack, I mean, it, it was kind of disappointing because I couldn't fit um, a six inch, six inch Israeli or my tourniquet, which I put in the the excess drawer. But <laughs> I couldn't fit those in my, my first aid kit or my trauma kit. But I do have a four inch Israeli bandage in my trauma kit. Um, I couldn't fit those in there. So, But the six inch Israeli and the tourniquet are usually in my pack my 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 edc bag that i carry everywhere i go along with one of these so it's always whatever bag i'm carrying uh and then i've got the tourniquet and the six inch out by themselves and then one of these so with that said um this i guess just stays at home i guess because everything's usually in my pack i think the only thing i'll be carrying with me is my trauma kit uh, so I, I guess this stays home and i guess it's kind of a at home first kit or a bug out first kit, I guess you could say. So I think that's that's where we're gonna go with it pretty much. Is a home first aid kit or a bug out kit. Bug out first aid kit. It's just something you grab when you gotta go. Uh, you don't have time to, you know, search for this and this first aid stuff. You just you just grab this and you're you're good to go. This and, and my, my trauma kit that's always with my bag anyways and we're out. So this is how I outfitted it. Um, right here we've got a zipper. No need to open it. I can kind of just explain to you what's in there. So. I threw some Benadryl on there, some um, some acetaminophen, some ibuprofen, some gas X, some Imodium, and some, uh, well, I already said Benadryl. Then I threw a, a baggie, Ziploc bag. That's the Ziploc bag in there. That's stocked up with various size Band-Aids. And that's what you'll use the most. So, you know, make sure you have enough of those. This, I feel like I actually outfitted pretty good. This actually worked out good. So when you open it, you've got these pockets. Put a couple drip drops in there. They fit perfect in there. The cheap pair of tweezers, a little cheap pair of shears. Like I said, this stuff is going to be the better options of these tweezers and shears will be in my trauma kit, which um, will always be with me anyway. So uh, I'll put, I think, three of these triple antibiotics, a couple first aid creams. Here we've got all of our iodine, iodine, iodine. I guess it depends on where you're from. <laughs> got some of those prep pads here, some alcohol pads, some BZK antiseptic pads. Um, so that's what this is. These are prep pads. These are antiseptic pads. So I threw those in those pockets and, and filled those pockets up. So cool. I got to actually utilize those pockets. So I like that. Then right here in the middle, as you open it up, boom, I've got, uh, two cold compresses in the back. I've got some steri strips. I threw that other quick clot, quick clotting gauze in there. Um, some tape, threw my super glue in there. Put another triangular bandage in there. Right in the middle, I just keep a couple extra rolls of uh, conforming gauze. 
and then in this zipper we have all the rest of the guys so I don't really need to open it I threw that whistle I threw it in there figured that'd be a good place for it threw an ammonia inhaling in there um, <coughs> threw an ace bandage in there or a um, compressing gauze whatever compressing bandage threw one of those in there and then it's just various um, gauze pads so there's an iPad, there's a couple iPads, I put that abdominal pad in there, a couple 4x4s, a couple 3x3s, and uh, a few 2x2s, two two. so that's how, I outfit, that's how I decided to outfit my first aid kit, so that's pretty much it, if you guys have any uh, anything you'd add to this first aid kit, I have a little room, it's actually a little bit more room than I had before, when I just had all kinds of random stuff in there, but I'll zip that up in a minute, oh yeah, I forgot, before I get, before I catch you for this. Here we go, latex-free, powder-free vinyl gloves. Let me throw those in there now. Cause I know someone's gonna be like, where's your gloves, bro? If something's happened, you gotta have those in there. They're in there, so. That's that, guys. I hope you guys gained something from this. This was basically how to build your first aid kit, what you, what, what's good to have in there and what's good to have in your trauma kit. Like I said, by no means is my trauma kit complete. I plan on buying more trauma stuff and uh, upgrading this kit to a bigger more medical bag type of trauma kit so <clears throat> like i said what i carry with me this will stay home this will go in my bag from now on it's not it's literally the size of my hand that'll go in my bag and that'll complement my bag with uh, along with a israeli bandage and uh tourniquet and my bags i'll, I'll also keep these so just little boo-boo kits kind of like a mini version of this first aid kit got some hemostatic agent both of them a roll of gauze triple antibiotic on men bandages some two by twos, a couple two by threes. And that's that. So appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or if you have any comments on what you would add or what you would do different, or like I said, I'm still looking, I'm, I'm always, I'm always prepping this stuff. So uh, what do you think should be my next purchase as far as uh, trauma or even first aid? I, I feel like most first aid I have, but I could be missing stuff. So feel free to leave that in the comments, guys. And I appreciate you watching. Tactical Bartender out. Peace. Y'all still there? Hey, real quick, since you're still there, uh, also, like I said, I was gonna do, I guess, like I said, I guess this is the home first aid kit now, so this, what I was gonna make the home first aid kit, I guess is just for surplus. It's just for extra, so. All the extra stuff that they didn't go in bags, I'll throw them in there. Band-aids, draggler bandages, uh, compression gauzes, conforming gauzes, boom. Extra tapes, extra sterile gauze pads, uh, yeah, back there's a 4x4, 3x3s. Boom, that's just an extra pair of gloves. And tourniquet, sutures, stair strips, some uh, ID and prep pads back there, some extra scissors. So that's all the surplus stuff. So I could also uh, grab that or use that. And then my SAM splints up there. That's another thing I guess I'm going to have to keep in the pack because it, it's pretty bulky. It will not fit in a trauma kit. Now, when I get my medical bag to transfer this stuff to and build, That'd be different, but all right, guys, for all this time, Tactical Bartender out. <laughs> Thank you guys for viewing. Consider subscribing to the channel, channel, channel. Consider subscribing to the channel, Tactical Bartender. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that bell notification to, you, to receive future notifications of when I upload. I'd greatly appreciate it, guys. See y'all later. What's going on, guys? So for this for for this month's giveaway, what I'm thinking we're gonna do is I'm gonna do two giveaways. So I'm gonna do one for new subscribers, and then I I feel like I need to do one for the ones that have. Subscribe to been supported me along this whole way. You know, I don't want to leave them out. So I'm going to do two. So from now for the, from now until May 23rd, I'm going to be doing a, another subscriber campaign. So any new subscribers between April 23rd and May 23rd, the, the subscribe between now and then, uh, will have a chance to win. They can actually be entering both giveaways. So all you got to do, if you're a new subscriber to this channel, simply comment Give me my IFAC, because that is going to be the, the giveaway for any new subscribers. You're, I will be building you your own IFAC, which stands for Individual First Aid Kit. So since that's what this video is about, comment below. Give me my IFAC. <laughs> so I know that you subscribed. Of course, I'll be checking to make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'll know you subscribed, and that'll enter you in the drawing for the IFAC giveaway. Now, for all my old subscribers that have been tuning into the channel, been subscribed, uh, always showed support, comment. Uh, what do we want them to comment? What I'm going to be giving them away is going to be some sort of prepping item, whether it's a uh, Mora G7, or not Mora G7, uh, a Mora knife, this is the stainless steel version, 
or any kind of prepping equipment. It could be a canteen, like who knows what it's gonna be, it's a surprise. So if you've been a subscriber to this channel, simply comment, give me my surprise. You know, you know what I'm saying? So that way I know it is an old subscriber or even if it's a new subscriber, you can comment twice. Comment, give me my IFAC, so that'll put you in the, that'll put you in the new subscriber giveaway. And then you can comment a second comment saying, give me my surprise. So that'll put you in both. And of course guys, I'll log into the YouTube manager page and I'll, you know, see who's, you know, make sure everybody's subscribed or whatever. And that's how I'll tell you. But you have to comment on this video guys. So anyways, I appreciate, appreciate you guys watching the video and staying tuned in. If you haven't subscribed yet guys, now you know uh, what we do on this, on this channel. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to receive future notifications on when I upload guys. So I'm always working to create better content. And I love you guys for all your support. So, Tactical Bartender out.